guys! So you must be wondering, why is this video coming now when it's supposed to be coming on Sunday? Well, I'll tell you what, because every time I want to post a video and I'm ready to record and everything, I get so distracted from these WhatsApp groups. I think pretty much all my free time goes to WhatsApp groups. Well, no, you know what, that's a lie. My work times, my eating times, my bathing times, you know, all the other times that I have in my life is pretty much gone to these WhatsApp groups. Because I'll tell you what, there are way too many of them. You guys think I'm joking? No, listen. Just for work, I have four different WhatsApp groups. So you can see that I'm not exaggerating, guys. And then for my family, I have a WhatsApp group and a Viber group. Yeah, Viber. Who uses that anyways? And then for my friends, I have like five different groups for them. It's just, it's getting out of hand. But I gotta admit, I love things like this because then I can make a video out of it. Winning! But you know a good thing about WhatsApp? Well, for me at least, it's actually improving on my psychology skills. Like, I'm actually studying the human behavior through these groups. There's like so many different personalities that come out in these groups. But then again, you probably don't need a psychology degree to know all this. But you do need a YouTube channel to be able to tell everybody else about it. So, ha! Winning! Alright, so first we have the conversation starter, the person that creates the group, the person that makes all the plans. You know, this person clearly has a lot of time on their hands. Hold on a second. I've created many groups in my life. Well, I mean, you can clearly see that I have a lot of time on my hands, right? I mean, I'm standing here talking in front of a camera. That explains my life in a nutshell. Right? Yeah, I did realize that I had lipstick on my teeth, but obviously, <laughs> I'm not gonna re-record because I'm very lazy. But anyways, let's just get back to our topic. The person that creates all the plans and stuff, honestly, like, they get so excited, I feel like they're having an orgasm. And honestly, these people get so excited when a plan is made that they're like, okay, I'm gonna go pack my bags, I'm calling into work, I'm taking one month vacation, and I'm gonna go renew my passport, I'm gonna go buy my ticket, and everything's gonna be awesome. And I'm sitting there just like, whoa. Dude, I just wanted some ice cream. And then, of course, to every reaction, we have an equal and opposite reaction. Is that the same? Yeah, something like that. Right? Anyways, so there's always a person that makes a plan, and then there's always a person that breaks the plan. So this person is all like, oh yeah, sorry man, I can't make it, because, you know, I got this baseball game to go to, and blah, 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 blah. And they're like, okay, fine, that's cool, that's cool. How about next week? Like, are you free next week? Oh, no, nah, man, sorry, I'm, you know, I'm chilling out with my girlfriend that day, so can't make it. All right, fine, what about the week after that? Oh, sorry, man, I got an exam to study for. Um, excuse me? If you have an exam to study for the next week, why are you going to a baseball game and chilling with your girlfriend? Like, you should be sitting in your ass at home and studying. Thank you. That sounds a lot like me. And then there are those people who are like, oh, no, sorry, I'm hanging out with this person on Monday, this person on Tuesday, this person on Wednesday. And it's like, wow, chill out, Mr. Popular. We understand that you have a lot of friends and you're hanging out. You don't need to rub that in our face. But even then, we won't follow through with our plans that we made with all the rest of the people in the group because this one person isn't coming. So, maybe they are Mr. Popular. Hmm. Did you guys just catch that? I did the whole Indian bobblehead thing. I'm not even Indian. That was just weird. So, there's two other people that are in the group are the bully and the person that always gets roasted. Honestly, I feel like these people just come in pairs in these groups, don't you think? This is pretty self-explanatory, the person that always bullies and the person that always gets bullied. And this person doesn't really defend themselves and even when they try, that just turns against them as well. Maybe this is where you should imply silence is virtue. Just let the person bully you and then eventually they'll get bored and stop. Alright, and then we got the comedians and the person that kills every joke. Like sometimes the person is really funny, but sometimes they're not, right? So we're all kind of glad this person just killed the joke. We're like, wow, dude, like that was not funny and you should stop. You know what I really hate? When people like have this joke and it's funny, like we all genuinely laugh and like, hey, that's really funny. And then they keep going because they got this one really good joke and finally everyone's liking them and everyone's laughing with them and everything. So they keep on going and that just really kills it. It's like, wow. That's when you gotta know, man. You gotta know when to stop. And of course, no group would be complete without a gossip queen. OMG, guess who I saw kissing at the mall today? You would never guess. Well, do you want me to guess or are you just thinking that I'm not gonna guess? So you're basically setting me up for failure here? Like, come on, just spit it out. Wait, that's me too. But face it, we all want a little bit of drama in our life, right? And next we have the greatest kind of people on our WhatsApp group, the breakfast television host. Good morning everyone, the weather is pretty cold outside so don't forget to dress warm. And also there is a really big accident on the 401 so you might want to take a different route. And P.S. Gas price is going up 3 cents tomorrow so fuel up guys. Oh, I guess that's kind of me. 
And then we got these overly attached people. Like they're so emotionally involved into this WhatsApp group that I just like I just don't know. Do you do you really have a life outside of this phone? Like do you do you do anything else besides look at your phone? Because as soon as you send a message, within a second, within a second or millisecond, you'll get a reply from them. It's like whoa. So honestly, like if you're dying, that's the person you want to contact. And lastly, this is the person that annoys me the most. The lurkers. You guys know what I'm talking about, right? Those people that are in the conversation but they're not really in the conversation. If you want to say this in Tamil, Irikum Ana Ila. So these are the people that are just sitting there and scrolling and scrolling and they're reading all of your messages but they don't reply. Unless they see their name in it and they're like, oh yeah, yeah, what's up, what's up? But sometimes I don't blame those people because like this WhatsApp group can go on and on and on. Can you imagine if you came back after you're doing something busy and then you come back to like a hundred messages and you're trying to reply to all of them and you're like, oh, ha ha ha, that's a really funny joke. And then the last comment that they're talking about is that someone's dad just died. You know how awkward that would be? Yeah, so it's really much better if you just ignore all of it because at that point, you're too late anyway, so just don't even reply. But anyways, let's face it, we can't live with WhatsApp groups and we cannot live without them. So just roll with it and if it's really bugging you, then just leave the group, be dramatic, you know, and then sit there and beg someone to put you back in the group. Or you can just mute it and then answer occasionally. Be the lurker, right? There you go. Anyways, thank you so much for watching that video. If you liked it, put a thumbs up and share it with your friends, right? And let me know in the comments below, what kind of a WhatsApp person are you? And if you haven't yet, please do subscribe. The button's over here. And here is my previous video. Check that out as well. And I will see you guys next week. Bye!